Hello all, Mike from Dynamic Point. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to be going through our Office 365 based employee expense management product by the name of Easy EXP 365. A couple of slides just to talk about our company and then we'll get right into the demo. First of all, what makes us different from an application? We are entirely Office 365 based. So in that regard, we're very similar to an app that resides on your mobile phone of which I'm sure we've all installed in our day. And the first part of installing that app is it asks if it's okay to use the various features of your mobile platform. We do that same thing, but we are leveraging this Microsoft ecosystem that's more designed for businesses than end users or consumers. And then this platform is also providing us the integration with other applications as part of this suite, as well as other third-party products that make our application more powerful. Going through the various building blocks, from the dynamic point perspective, of course, the expense management product is being added as an app to Office 365. And it's providing its own functions as far as policy enforcement, corporate credit card management, um, expense reimbursement, etc. The front end for the product or the user interface is being provided by SharePoint. It is providing the security branding document management, amongst other things, for the product. For workflow, we're using Power Automate to route it, the expense report for review and approval to the various managers. For capturing expenses on a mobile phone, we're using the Power Apps application. And then for reporting and analytics, we're using Power BI. As far as the various steps, the first is capturing the expense receipt or the actual incidental that was incurred by an employee. This could come from either a receipt that's being uploaded or a corporate credit card. There's various methods to capture these receipts, including email, a mobile app, um, a mobile upload, as well as entry directly into the application on the expense portal. We'll show you a couple of these today. The second step is the processing and workflow associated to that. That can entail OCR for capturing fields from the expense receipt, as well as Power Automate for workflow and approval, routing the expense report to the appropriate managers, as well as our application's functionality as far as coding the expenses to the appropriate GL structures, as well as taking credit card transactions and ensure they've been accounted for, as well as mileage reimbursement. And then lastly, the third and final step is the accounting integration, where the transaction is brought into the ERP application, reflecting any of the expenses, as well as creating any transactions for payment to the employee. So from our application functionality, you could receive this receipt again in multitude of fashions. The product is adding expense mileage and credit card items to this picture, a web form or mobile app for upload. We have a concept of categories in our system that can represent various financial structures such as GL accounts and projects and things of that nature. And then webhooks with other parts of the Office 365 framework as well as um, third-party applications. Enough of the introduction, we'll get right to the demo. Here's my expense management dashboard. As you can see, I have various calls to action. So this would be geared towards employees who are using the product. I can see my existing expense reports that are processing. I can manage receipts that have been submitted but not included on any report, as well as a link directly to the ERP application to see the payment processing options. So the first step we want to walk through is the submission of new expense receipts. To start us off, I'm going to look at first of all doing that on our mobile application. So this is actually using the OneDrive app provided by Microsoft. As you can see, I have an attachment upload here for capturing new receipts. And I'm going to go ahead and capture a new one. I have a receipt on my desk. I'll go ahead and take a picture of that and confirm it. So what this is doing is I'm capturing a receipt, but at this point I'm not coding it to any GL accounts or not uh, doing any of the classification on it. So you can see I have a new receipt, and if I go back to my dashboard here and look at my managed receipts, you'll see that that's actually added as of a couple seconds ago in pending inclusion on an expense report. So at this point it's been captured, but I have not done any of the coding associated to it that'll ultimately be necessary to determine GL account assignment and things of that nature. So that's one option. One option is I could just submit the receipt. The other option is I could actually do the coding directly from my phone. And for that, I will go ahead and open up a Power App. So I've already created a new expense report here. You can see I have a home office supplies. Again, I want to add a new line item. This time, as opposed to just taking a picture of it, I could obviously attach the image as well. But from the Power App, I could actually code it and do the necessary accounting elements that are required for ultimately coding this to GL accounts. Go ahead and put in the amount of it and 
say we took the team out for dinner. By submitting this on the Power App, as opposed to going to the Open Receipt Library, it'll actually add it directly to an existing report and into the application. So those are a couple methods from a mobile standpoint, but I could also create this report directly within the application. So I'm going to go into the Expense Report Processing Dashboard. Here you're going to see a couple of the reports that have yet to be submitted, as well as my new one for office supplies, including any of the line items that I added from the mobile app. But in addition, if I want to add a new line item, so I'll go ahead and pick my team dinner example. Let's say we want Ruth Chris, team dinner. I'm going to pick a cost center. These are entirely configurable through our category model in our system, as well as an expense type. And then select the receipt. So I could upload a new receipt, or I could pick from the receipts that were pending, those that I submitted using the mobile app, but have not included on any report at this time. So by doing that, you could see I could really create a queue by just submitting attachments or receipts to the system, or I could code them directly from my mobile phone. So either way is absolutely acceptable. That would represent an out-of-pocket or an expense item, as we call it. I could also add auto items for mileage reimbursement. In this case, by adding the distance and where I came from and to, specifying any other categories or user-defined fields that have been configured in the product for policy enforcement or capturing additional details. You can see it's going to automatically calculate the mileage reimbursement for me based on configuration in the system. I'll go ahead and add that. And then last but not least, I could add any corporate credit card transactions. Corporate credit card transactions are those transactions that have been incurred by a card that has been issued to me. So this is a feed of transactions coming directly from the financial institution. In this case, I could add the items, but they will not be added as reimbursables to me because they're already being paid by the company. So here I'll go ahead and specify that this expense was for a hotel. Again, putting it to any of the appropriate GL accounts and saving it. But as you can see, by adding hotel items, they are not included to the reimbursables to the employee. They get calculated and saved in a different bucket by the name of a credit card total. This will be important because these will be integrated differently as the expenses ultimately are approved and integrate with the ERP application. This distinction will be important later after this expense report is approved and integrated with the ERP application. These two transactions will be treated very differently as the reimbursable total will require to be paid to the employee where the credit card total is just for coding to the appropriate GL account and later credit card reconciliation. So at this point we'll move forward. We have an expense report with items, uh, mileage or auto items, as well as credit card items. We're going to go ahead and save it and then submit this report for review and approval. By submitting it, it will invoke a Power Automate workflow process that has been configured using our application. In my case, that workflow is department-based, so it's going to go to various department managers um, based on the assignment of the line items in the report, as well as any um, expenditures that meet a certain delegation of authority. If you heard, I just received a new notification of that report being ready to review. So in this case, I'm pretending to be a manager within the system. So the manager can review this report and either approve or reject it. If I click on this link, it'll actually take me to a review page. Depending on the manager's permission, they may have the ability to edit the report as it's going through the workflow. So in addition to looking at the items, of course, seeing any supporting documentation, Maybe I want to give them permission to edit it as well. And that's a configurable option. The other capability on this screen is to look at an audit log of each step in the workflow history of when the report was submitted and who has reviewed it, as well as any reviewer notes. As I'm the first reviewer, there is no notes available at this time. If you noted the first time that I launched this task, it was from my email. You could also do the approval from Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams has a Power Automate app. I to bring Teams over to my screen here and refresh it. I will see a new task that has been assigned to me for the review of this expense report. In fact, the same task. But as you can see, I could see that um, either from email or from the Teams interface and approve or reject it from here, as well as drill back into the report, again, to make any edits or review any attachments. I'll go ahead and approve it from Teams. I'll say this looks good. If there was any additional steps in the review process, this would invoke other tasks to other managers or people within the finance organization or the delegation of authority. In this case, I am the only reviewer. 
So the last step will actually integrate the report directly or with the ERP application. So if I go back to my reports here and filtered on those that have been submitted, those are ones that have been fully integrated with the ERP product. So you can see there the report has gone through each step in the workflow. I could see a complete audit log now of each task in the workflow that was undertaken and who was part of the review process, as well as look at any of the ERP details of the information that's been integrated. That concludes our demonstration for today. Thank you again for taking the time. If you have any questions, you could visit our site at dynamicpoint.com where you could submit questions as well as schedule a demo and look at such details as product pricing. Thanks again and have a great day.